sparking outrage. Protesters gathered outside of her home calling for her resignation. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Sun Valley with more on what protesters are saying. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Well, it is quiet in this neighborhood now, but yes, when these leaked audios came out yesterday, a lot of people got angry and came here to Martinez's home to let their feelings be known. Take a look. You can see a group of about 50 people holding signs and chanting. They do not think that Martinez's apology is enough. They say that she should resign her seat on the council, and they're vowing to keep protesting outside her home, her offices, and her church until she steps down. We can't keep allowing these people to do whatever they want. It's just blatantly disrespectful and it's honestly just evil. So that's why we're out here because we want to let her know that she will not be sitting there for much longer and we will get her out of office. And there are several community leaders and other groups that are planning protests and press conferences today to talk about this and to call on Martinez to resign. Now, as for her seat, she is not up for re-election this year, but that seat title as president, that is something that the city council gave to her. And so it is something that they could theoretically strip away from her. We'll send it back to you. All right, Tina, thank you for that. And both mayoral candidates have weighed in on the recordings. Karen Bass writing in part, all those in the room must be held accountable. And I've spent the day speaking with black and Latino leaders about how to ensure this doesn't divide our community. And over at the Caruso camp, Rick Caruso writing in part, I have now and will always have zero tolerance for hate speech. And this situation is beyond the pale. I denounce everything in these recordings and call on all to be held accountable. And stay with CBS 2 News and CBSLA.com for the latest on the fallout from this story. Jury selection is set to begin.